Hello, this is Hakuta Bean, and today we're going to be reading SCP-729. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. I forgot what the name of the SCP was. Item number, SCP-729. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-729 is stored in a standard security chamber at Site Redacted. For ease of testing, SCP-729 has been and connected to the Site Redacted at water and sewage systems. However, use of the object outside of test conditions is prohibited. The risks associated with passive interaction with SCP-729 are minimal, says some um, crossed out text. Some staff have reported feeling dirty or stressed during prolonged periods in the vicinity of SCP-729. Accompanied by a mild compulsion to make use of SCP-729 to bathe. Oh, I think this was Marvel Bathtub. This compulsion does not appear to be strong enough to force staff to break containment protocols so as to break, so as to access SCP-729. However, staff feeling said compulsion are encouraged to leave the vicinity of SCP-729. Description: SCP-729 is a large bathtub carved from marble. The item's properties were discovered by accident during a police reconstruction of a suspected murder-suicide in redacted area. It was retrieved by an undercover Foundation agent soon after. Bathing in SCP-729 has been described as extremely relaxing to the extent that individuals using it for this purpose must be encouraged to leave by an external force. They will not exit the bath of their own accord. The primary effect of SCP-729 begins to manifest between 5 and 15 minutes after an individual has begun to bathe. At this stage, all foreign or abnormal objects are forcibly expelled from the user's body. This has been observed to include artificial implants, parasitic organisms, cancerous growths, and data expunged. While under the influence of SCP-729, users appear aware of this process. If disturbed by an external force, they will immediately experience pain consistent with the trauma inflicted upon their body. Objects removed in this way typically settle in the, in the water alongside the abator. Approximately 4 minutes after the initial manifestation of SCP-729's effects, Bathers begin to suffer from rapid muscle wastage. Material loss in this way becomes mixed with the water within the bath. As a result of this, bathers quickly lose the strength required to exit SCP-729, even if they were so inclined, and must be assisted by external observers. Within six minutes, the process begins to affect major organs, extracting them from the body almost intact. Death typically occurs soon after this. Despite the massive trauma inflicted in this way, Users remain ignorant of the effect unless alerted to it by an external force. Complete deconstruction of the Vader's body is typically completed within 20 minutes of the onset of SCP-729's effects. At this stage, it is possible to extract specific organs from within the mix of water and organic material left within the bathtub, although these are typically damaged to some extent. If left in SCP-729, these remains are further deconstructed. After five hours, no identifiable material remains, but the contents of SCP-729 instead comprising of an organic soup. Long-term tests have indicated that this appears to be slowly absorbed into SCP-729, leaving clean in water after eight days. Parts of the stone from um, which SCP-729 it subsequently is carved, subsequently show no discoloration. Well, that is by far the most horrifying bathtub I've ever heard of. <laughs> if you liked this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!